Lil Future just turned five today, and over the weekend, his father, Future, um, threw him a nice little birthday party with all his 5011 siblings, and he also posted this on Instagram with Lil Future wearing his Rolex that um, he bought for him, and he posted this little lyric, um, this Meek Mill lyric. So anyway, I want you to go ahead and check out this uh, little video, these little clips from his birthday party. Check this out. So it looked like Future had a really good time with his um, with his father's uh, side of the family and his brothers and sisters. Anyway, um, Russell Wilson also posted this this morning. He said, from the moment we came into each other's worlds to now, five years later, you have changed my life and my heart for the better. You are the greatest gift I could have ever asked God for. I will always love you, guide you, teach you, and care for you. Happy fifth birthday, Future. Papa Russ loves you. And so when... Uh, Russell Wilson posted that. Of course, people always got to be negative, and they started calling him corny. And for the life of me, I'm just trying to figure out who the hell raised y'all to think that it's corny for this man to love on this young boy. He has been with Sierra since Lil Future was like, it was just maybe a few months old when they met each other and they started to date. And ever since then, he has loved on this little boy. He has guided him. You know, it's beautiful to see them together. They have meshed as one family. Um, and I and I keep saying to myself, if this is corny, then sign me the hell up. Because I don't understand how anybody could think that there's something wrong with this man taking Sierra and Little Future as a package deal. Isn't that what you would want? If you are dating somebody and you're getting serious, you want them to accept your children as, as, as their own and love them like, you know, those are their children. So what on earth is pe are people thinking when they call this man corny and they say that he's overstepping his boundaries and he's not the daddy? Well, listen, for what it's worth, um, and this is no slight to future. It may sound like a slight, but it's not. All Future has is money. That's all he can give in material goods to give this young boy because he has a thousand kids. He has two kids that's a, under eight months old, okay? He just literally had a baby girl about three weeks ago. So this man has to distribute his time and money, by the way, amongst several kids that he has fathered. None of them are getting all of his time, none of them. All he has is money. And here you have uh, Russell Wilson who was able to not only provide for Sierra and uh, Lil Future and of course their daughter Sienna, but he gives him his time and his energy and his wisdom, and his knowledge. He's given him a lot more than just materialistic stuff. Because as you can see, the fact that Future would even gift a five-year-old or Rolex. What the hell does a five-year-old need with a Rolex? What does that even mean to a five-year-old? You see how on the video, he was like, oh, thank you. I mean, he, that's all he could say because he's a polite kid, right? But what the hell does a little five-year-old want with a, a Rolex? What could they possibly do with that? Okay, it just, it just kind of shows you the mindset of future and the mindset of Papa Russ. I think it's great that he has two men who love him. I think it's great. 
is absolutely wonderful. But truth be told, let's not sit here and act like future has been a com absolute presence in this boy's life. Sierra even went to court to kind of claim that there's been times where, you know, it was uh, Future's weekend and Future would basically drop little Future with his mother and be gone. Because, you know, again, in his mind, he's a single man. He's living the life. He keeps spreading his seed everywhere, having all these babies, and he moves on. Okay, that's what he did to Sierra. They were engaged. Um, Sierra uh, was about to have her baby. And the next thing you know, Future out here taking pictures with his other baby mother. They jet setting all over the world while Sierra just gave birth. Okay, so... I love the fact that Sierra, you know, she regrouped, she got herself together, she worked on herself, and she attracted a man like Russell Wilson. Now, again, maybe he's not like this debonair dude that's out here with, like I said, 5011 kids. Maybe, you know, people feel like, well, he's kind of corny. He just, he's a nerd. What? I don't care. Sign me up. Once again, sign me up. Because with all the craziness going on in the world today where these men out here uh, abusing their, their um, girlfriends, kids, and molesting, hell, again, sign me up. This is a man who loves this boy. He takes time with him. You know, he, he coaches his little uh, football group. You know, it's like team. It's just all of this other stuff that he does. All right. He takes on the role as a dad. He is a great stepfather. I hate to even call him stepfather. Now, technically that's what he is, but I hate to even say that he's Papa Russ. All right. And Sierra has been blessed to have a man like that in his life. And we all, you know, listen, when my son was born or before he was born, his biological father left and I met my ex-husband, my, now my ex-husband, I met him uh, when my son was almost two years old. And he took him as his own. He took care of him. He, he, you know, everywhere he went, they would go together. I mean, it was just like he was dad to him. He started calling, my son called, started calling him daddy. And, you know, when we got uh, married, of course, he took on his last name. So it was like he took on the role of a father. And I'm appreciative of that. And even if we're not together anymore, I can never take away the fact that he really stepped up and became a father because he understood that. When you with me, you with him, like we are a package. And so what's wrong with a man like Russell Wilson understanding that this is how this works, okay? He could have had anybody else in the world. I mean, this man is a makes multi-millions of dollars. He could have had anyone else, but he loves Sierra, all right? And he wanted them, he took them. And so yes, he took to Instagram to show his son some love. And I think it's a beautiful thing. And I, and, and it just kind of, to me, speaks to how warped people are out here, that they think that there would be something wrong with this kind of relationship. In a perfect world, Future should be happy that his, his little boy has a man in his life that loves him and he can trust with his son and that will take good care of him. In a perfect world, you would think that's how it would be. There are a lot of great co-parenting relationships in which this stuff like this works that way. But as we know, based on what we've seen over the few years, Future has been a bit salty about that. He didn't like the fact that he felt that um, Russell was like overstepping his boundaries. But again, what is this man supposed to do? Future lives in the house with him and he loves this little boy. What is he supposed to ignore him? Is that what people would prefer? That uh, Russell Wilson walks around ignoring him, act like he doesn't know him, treating him poorly? Okay, then what you what would you say then? It's like you can't win for losing. And like I say, if, if this is corny, then sign me up for the corny man because I will take a corny man over a man with a thousand children and no time, okay? Like I said, all future has is the coins. All he has is money. And if we want to be really, really, really real, uh, Russell Wilson just signed a multi-million, I'm talking about over a hundred million dollar contract with the Seattle Seahawks. He has extended his contract with them. So uh, Sierra is winning. And, you know, a lot of women still out here waiting on the prayer that she prayed for this man. 
But like I said, I just think that people need to get out of their own way and stop, get out of that mindset to think that there's something wrong with this man loving on this young man because, again, he loves his mother. And you would want that. Anybody should want to see a, a, a situation like this where this man is loving him like he gave her his seed. And the fact of the matter is you wouldn't know. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, hell, if you look at him, you, I think I think Future's starting to look like uh, Russell Wilson. He's starting to kind of look alike to me. So just lay off. You know, and, and again, get some self-esteem about yourself that you would even think that there's something wrong with this. Like, who, what kind of dudes are you out here picking that you think that there's something wrong with this man loving on this little boy and calling this man corny? All right? I guess you want your man to beat up on your kids, uh-huh? I, I, I guess that's better. I, I don't, I just don't get it. I think that folks just, folks, I, I don't, I don't understand people anymore. Humans disappoint me often. You know, I, I'm not surprised by anything anymore. So <sighs> corny, I don't think so. I don't think so. That's just my opinion. I don't think that Russell Wilson is corny for loving on this little boy. He loves him and that he loves his mother and they have a family together. And again, I will take that and the fact that he, you know, he, he's doing well for himself, but I'll take that over a man that all he can give him is a Rolex, a freaking Rolex for a five-year-old. Seriously, what do you think Lil Future is going to remember more? The fact that uh, Future gave him a Rolex on his fifth birthday or the fact that, or the man that's been spending time with him and teaching him how to play football and teaching him about life and teaching him all kinds of stuff and, and just having fun with him and enjoying family vacations. What do you think he's going to remember when it's all said and done? I don't know. I guess time will tell. But again, corny. I think not.